At PDAC 2024, we had breaking news on Friday with Appia. How are you today, Tom? Very excited, very, very well, uh, Tracy. Are these drilling results for your ionic clay project in Brazil as exciting as I think they are? They're very exciting. Actually, it's more than drilling results. We came out with our first um, uh, resource. Uh, so we're getting uh, within eight months of starting of exploration down there. We've got 52 million tons of, uh, uh, out of that 6.6 .6 million tons of 2,500 ppm uh, total rare earth oxide. Uh, we're uh, 46 million tons of uh, almost 2,900, 2,900 par parts per million uh, total rare earth oxide. Uh, and um, that's in weight percent. So this is very exciting news for for us, for Apia. And I've got to point out that within that resource there's some extremely high grade. There's, a, there's 13 and a half million tons at 7,300 and, uh, and more um, um, uh, parts, per, parts per million uh, uh, weight percent total rare earth oxide. So it, it's very exciting news for Apia. Uh, so let's let's really enjoy the moment, though. How long have you been working on this resource? We knew you had something exciting for what a year now, or we started drilling at the end of July last year. Okay, so within eight months, we able to drill 300 drill holes and and come up with a resource. We actually hired SGS to do the resource, so very um, well respected company. And um, what's uh, it, it's very great, good and easy for us because we've got a good terrain. We're very close to a mining town uh, and uh, it, it's, uh, it's the right environment to work. Of course, I always tell people to follow the people, follow the talent. You had Constantine Karanopoulos added to your advisory board who's, you know, uh, a well-known expert in the industry. So we knew something exciting was happening for them to be lending their name to your team? I think we've got a very exciting project. I think we, it's, uh, and it's just the beginning. We, we only um, uh, explore 1% of the total area. We got 40, over 40,000 hectares. We looked at 400 hectares. So it, it's a very exciting project. We have the great, we've got the right rare earths like um, um, critical material uh, rare earths, uh, the uh, neodymium, prisodymium, the magnet rare earths, and the heavy rare earths. So it, it, it's it's an exciting project. And we've got a, right, a, a very, a very well-respected team. Konstantin uh, uh, Karyanopoulos uh, joined the uh, the advisory uh, team. But also we have Jack um, Lifton and we have Don Haynes, who are the very, very well-respected uh, uh, call them experts in the field. Don Haynes came by earlier today, and of course, Jack Lifton will be here tomorrow. But back to the magnetic materials, the neodymium and, and presidium, your, your numbers were high though. Very, very high numbers. Uh, as I said, in terms of the, um, the high grade portion, the three, 13 and a half million um, uh, tones, uh, we've got uh, 1300 ppm uh, magnet rare earths, basically, uh, uh, which is uh, more than than some other uh, resources, basically, uh, some other companies that have um, a total rare earth oxides. We are recording this interview after having found out this news release on Friday evening. It's just Sunday, so we don't know how the market's going to respond. The news was released uh, uh, at five o'clock on Friday after the market closed. Uh, I think it was it, it, the market. We don't know what the mark, how the market will react, but at least uh, we had a couple of days for people to look at the the results and and do their home homework, and and uh, hopefully the market is going to react on, uh, positive on on Monday, which I I think so. Now that your your resource has been announced for your Brazil project, what should shareholders anticipate next? Well, we're going to be doing a lot of work on metallurgy. Uh, and uh, we, we're still drilling. We've got an auger uh, uh, drill that we're still drilling. So we, we know we can expand the resource. And, and um, 
uh, at some point we're going to look at the PEA, uh, basically. So better look at once we get a better handle of the of the um, metallurgy, uh, the recoveries. Then we'll, you know, the next step would be uh, do a, a, a preliminary economic assessment of the um, of the uh, deposit. Of course, Appia Rare Earths and Uranium has been working on this project for the last year, but also has a Saskatchewan Rare Earth Company and a Uranium project. Any updates in those areas? We've got the uh, four uh, Uranium exploration properties uh, in the around the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan, and we're we're doing exploration. We're going to be doing exploration on those uh, starting uh, the next couple of months. Uh, we also have a, a huge uh, resource, uh, uranium resource in Ontario at uh, Elio Lake, where we've got uh, 43 on the one um, uh, resource, uh, 55 million uh, tons of uranium in both in fur and indicated categories, and about 180 million pounds of rare earths uh, within that, um, that zone. Um, and um, and that's basically both in infer and indicator categories. So we've got a number of uranium projects that we're going to be working on, and and we've got a huge resource, uranium resource, and obviously we still have the the Alsace Lake um, property uh, project in in northern Saskatchewan, where we have high grade uh, um, uh, uh, critical rare earths uh, on in in monazite. So everybody out there who want to get in on uranium, because we were mentioning how Christopher Ecclestone here at Investor News is telling us the uranium market is just beginning to heat up. And of course, many of you out there are following the rare earth industry as well. Appia Rare Earths and Uranium, for more information, go to their website. Tom, congratulations on your resource announcement on your Brazil project. Thanks, uh, Tracy. Thank you for the opportunity here to speak to uh, the audience.